Tell you about now in a story that we first brought you last month. Channel 2 Investigates has learned that the owner of a troubled building elevation company has died. Titan Foundation was in charge of elevating several homes here in Houston, but ran into financial issues, and that left a lot of people hanging. Our Brandon Walker in our newsroom right now with breaking details. Brandon? Indeed, Bill. The medical examiner tells us Bobby Fisher died last night in Missouri. Police were called to his home just before 8 o'clock last night. We are told he died from a probable heart attack. Bobby Fisher was 52 years old. Some homeowners who did business with Fisher were told he was in declining health. That was weeks ago. Beyond that, though, they were left in the dark about what to do with their homes. The signage isn't hard to spot. Titan Foundations and Elevation, a company once paid to elevate homes throughout our area, suddenly shuttered. Channel 2 Investigates was first to tell you about the troubled company and homeowners who say Titan left them stranded. Some even paid the company tens of thousands as a deposit, only to have their homes sit untouched. This is the company's office on Richmond Avenue sat abandoned after Titan walked out on a lease, according to the landlord. Bobby Fisher, the owner, was at the center of the controversy. Multiple homeowners told us they'd tried to reach Fisher about the state of their homes, only to be ignored. We did some digging, too, found multiple liens filed by subcontractors on homes Titan was supposed to elevate, but never did. What's more, some homeowners doing business with Titan did so because the city of Houston selected the company as a contractor for multi-million dollar FEMA grant to elevate homes in the city. Six homes in total, according to the city of Houston's Department of Public Works, selected Titan through that grant. Just last week, the city put Titan Foundations on notice, telling the company it had 30 days to complete elevation projects or the city would cancel its contract. Yeah, that was the latest development to tell you about. So tonight, we've got a lot of questions. For answers, we reached out to Houston Public Works to find out what this means for those homeowners. A spokesperson person told us the office is working to figure out what that means. Of course, once they do, we'll be sure to tell you about it. We're live in the newsroom tonight. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.